Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Knowing Your Place, Buckinghamshire's Historic Parishes. My name is Lucy Lawrence, I'm the Archaeology Officer at Buckinghamshire Council and I'm going to be talking to you in this tutorial about an outreach project that we're running where we're asking local volunteers to help us update our online historic parish summaries. So what is Knowing Your Place? Buckinghamshire Council are very fortunate in that we've had a good online presence for some years. And in 2005, we established Unlocking Buckinghamshire's Past, an online platform which used historic environment record data to provide information to our communities. There were parish summaries, period overviews, and key information about the county, which could be used to understand the evolution and development of each of the parishes and of the county as a whole over time. As part of this, as I've just explained, there were parish summaries, 163 of them, which talked about the evolution of a parish from the earliest times through to modern day. These were written in 2005 and were based on the historic environment record data at that time. Last summer in 2020, we launched Buckinghamshire's Heritage Portal, a new online platform which took the information from the Unlocking Buckinghamshire's Past website and combined it with new interactive mapping and better access to our historic environment record data to create a more user friendly and a more thorough online presence. As part of this, we transferred over all of our parish summaries, but because of the time at which they were written, they are now slightly out of date. Over the last decade or so, Buckinghamshire has experienced tremendous growth with infrastructure, development and research all adding to our understanding of the archaeological record. We thought with the transfer over to the new platform that it was a good time to update these parish summaries to ensure that they reflected everything we knew and not just what was known when they were written in 2005. However, to update 163 parish summaries is a huge undertaking for our small team of four, and it just wasn't plausible. So in February this year, we put out a cry for help, as you can see from this press release. And we asked local volunteers, local societies and interest groups if they would help us to update the summaries. So as explained, the aims of the project were to ensure that parish summaries are up to date with recent archaeological discoveries to link the summaries to key historic environment record data, but also to allow local volunteers to add invaluable local knowledge to the summaries. Whilst the HER contains a lot of information, we are well aware that there is some local knowledge and information and stories out there that we don't know about. So we thought by involving local volunteers, we might be able to access some of this information and make a much more thorough and richer parish summary. We also wanted, though, to use to take the opportunity to create networks and communities of volunteers who we could work with, not just for this project, but for forthcoming projects. So, as I explained, the parish summaries are stored on Buckinghamshire's Heritage Portal. If you just use any search engine to search for it, you will find the portal. If you're interested in using it, then there is another event on the Festival of Archaeology page which will talk you through how best to use this portal please do refer to that if you're interested. So as you can see here, the landing page for the Buckinghamshire's Heritage Portal, and at the top you can see a bar which has special features, and it is under this bar that you will find the parish summaries. And as I explained, there are 163, one for each of our historic parishes. When we talk about historic parishes, we're referring to the parish boundaries as defined in 1974. Here is an example of one of the parish summaries. Here we're looking at Aston Clinton. As you will see, the parish summaries are chronological. They start with our earliest information and our earliest knowledge of the parish, and then they carry on through the Roman and medieval periods to the present day. As you can see here on this slide, some of the wording is in blue. These are hyperlinks and they will take you through to the exact HER record that's being referred to here. So this is wonderful because it's utilising the information, the core information that we have in our historic environment record data to provide these summaries. But as explained before, this is based on data available at the time that the summaries were written. And we have a lot more information now, which we would like to see involved and included in these summaries. So 
it might be something to do with a certain period, it might be something to do with a certain place within a parish, but we just know that there is information out there which hasn't made it into the summaries. You can also see on this example of a parish summary that where possible we have photographs and what you can't see here, but if you have a look on the web page you can see at the bottom is there's also links to sources, um, other documents and all sorts of extra information. So here you can see in the Aston Clinton opening paragraph, it talks about what's known about the prehistoric period and very, very short, brief bit of information about the Roman period. If we move on to some recent discoveries, we have two slides here which show records that haven't made it into their summaries, including one at Aston Clinton. The record on the right here, as you'll see at Land of Stable Bridge Road, refers to an archaeological investigation undertaken, which recorded evidence of late Iron Age to early Roman settlement. This is the kind of information that we'd really love to have in our summary, so that if somebody came along and just wanted to know briefly about the history of their area, they would have the up-to-date full story and not have to search specifically for it through the database. Also on this slide, you can see another example of a Saxon site found at Chandler's Hill in Ivor. This too is not on the Ivor parish summary. Again, an example of an HER record that we would really love to see embedded within the summaries. But it's not just HER data that we would like to be used. Historic mapping, information from the Buckinghamshire archives, documentary evidence, or even, as I said before, local evidence from people on the ground, spotting things that they know about themselves. All of this would be a wonderful and welcome addition to our parish summaries. And here's an example of um, an HER record which was added only through local knowledge and through local interest. This HER record refers to a glacial erratic boulder in the parish of Solbury. This uh, boulder is um, located at a junction in the road and it's been there for as long as anyone can remember. Indeed, it's on all historic mapping. It's a, um, as explained in the description here, it is a glacial erratic boulder of carboniferous limestone at the junction of Chapel Hill and High Road. And it's shown on historic mapping since at least 1769. And it's a hugely important local landmark and we were asked to add this to the historic environment record data and we were pleased to do so. And this is a great example of something that's really important to the local community and which we feel enriches our historic environment record data set. This glacial boulder is not mentioned yet on the Solbury Parish summary page and it'd be wonderful if it could be. So as we explained, we put out a cry for help and we had a wonderful initial response following our press release in February. And over 40 parishes are currently being worked on by a team of volunteers across the country. We have volunteers from the north, the south and the east of the county looking at all sorts of different parishes. And these are people who either have a local interest or belong to a local society. And we're so delighted that we're already seeing the um, culmination of the work and our first updated summary is already live on the platform. And I have about three or four others that I'm trying really hard to get updated as we speak. And hopefully by the end of July, we'll have more available online. Here is our first completed entry, Winslow. And as you can see, I've highlighted at the bottom that we have thanked David Noy, who helped update this page for us. As I explained, he went through the HER records he looked for different information which was missing from the summary and he also used his own local knowledge to update the summary. We are hugely grateful to him and all our volunteers for helping us in this way. However, we still have over 100 parishes that haven't got a volunteer allocated to them. So if you have been inspired by this short tutorial and would love to uh, get involved yourself, we would absolutely love to hear from you. If you have a affiliation with a parish, for example, you are, might have been brought up there or you've lived there, please do get in touch and we will provide full training on our parish, on our portal and show you how we would like the parish summaries to work. To get involved, please email her at buckinghamshire.gov.uk 
and mark it for the attention of myself, Lucy Lawrence. If you're able to, in your email, please include your name, which parish you're interested in helping with, any association you have with the parish, but also any affiliations you may have with local societies or historic groups. We would love to hear from you. I hope you found this tutorial useful and I hope you take some time to look at the other tutorials we have on our page today. Thank you very much.